right, we're gonna do some corn today. Put my jar. I'm gonna try half a cup. Um, let's see how well half a cup does. We're gonna soak it. All right, it's the next day or next morning. We're gonna drain this. Now, normally I would do this in the kitchen sink, but because I'm trying to videotape this, I'm gonna make a mess instead. Probably could have just taken the lid off, but. Trying to get a good swish. Now, just like wheatgrass, we're gonna keep this tilted. We want it dry, so I gotta find a, I mean dry, dark, so I'm gonna find a dark spot to put this, probably underneath this table, and I like to use this guy, so I just oh, stick it on the floor, so you do that so there's still airflow and it can drip dry, and then we rinse it a couple times a day, I don't know if you can tell, there's one of those that looks like it's a lot softer. So, we'll just hide this under here. All right, so with the corn, you wanna grow it in complete darkness, so hopefully that'll be dark enough down there. I don't think right now this stage it matters too much, but I'm trying to keep it as dark as possible. All right, so the corn's been soaking. Now, unlike wheatgrass, I'm not seeing sprouts. I do see a change in the kernels. This lid does not want to come off. There we go. So you can sort of see there's like a black dot in there on all the kernels. So I think it's ready. Let's give it a shot. This time I'm actually using potting mix. So it's basically peat moss and vermiculite. I did not screen this, but that's okay. As much about overwatering this because it drains really well. So we'll get some nice water in there, let it soak in. All right, now we're gonna put this on down. Alright, 
probably could have done more. One tray on top. Add a little bit of weight. These are the most expensive weights you can get. And then I'm also going to be using a tray underneath because I don't want to get a mess on the floor. And I'm going to put it on the shelf. So I'm going to keep this covered. I actually might move this to a dark shelf once it starts to grow because corn likes to grow in the dark. In fact, you know what? Put it on the dark shelf now and uh, hopefully it will grow okay down there. You want to keep it covered until it's six inches. So using these two and a half inch trays will be helpful because it'll grow about two inches in there, another two and a half inches, and then I mean, it's supposed to be a little bit taller than that. So you want it dark because it keeps that yellow color and supposedly tastes like um, popcorn. So I'm, I'm interested in trying this one. All right, let's come up with a corny joke for this. Let's see how we're doing. All right, there are some sprouts. Let's zoom in on them. You can see one sprout over there. Doing good. The lid's moist. Just gonna give it a little bit extra. Put the lid back on and set it aside. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. <laughs> hmm. Mine's on there. Yeah, some of them are growing big. Where's my spray can? And some of them don't look like they're growing, so be interesting to see what happens. All right, now let's look at the corn. Whoa! Looking pretty cool. I like corn. Look at that one right here. Yeah. That one looks really good. That one looks like the best. Two can, maybe. Oh, we got our two, yes. Oh, two can and baby. All right, now I'm gonna just put the. I know what he's saying. Just put the lid. And we're gonna keep it like this from now on. All right, check out this corn. I just watered it with the watering can. I thought this was recording, but that's all I'm doing. You're supposed to wait till it's six inches. So I guess we got a little bit more time to go, but it doesn't look like the germination rate was very good. All right, now I took a peek. <laughs> this is pretty cool. They say to harvest it when it's six inches. So I think it's about time. I'm gonna try this. It actually is very sweet. Wow. The more you chew it, the sweeter it tastes. That's pretty cool. So there's definitely enough water in here. Wow. That tastes like sweet corn. That's cool. All right, I'm going to have to harvest this later when the kids are home so they can try it. That's really tasty. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe,
comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.